Welcome to Royat Online School Education 2021-22 Sadguru Garge Maharaj College Karat Guidance by Principal Dr. Mohan Rajmane Sir Standard 11 Subject Bookkeeping Accountancy Myself Patel Madam from HGM College Karat Today we are going to see the problem number 4 that is about the journalize the following transactions in the books of Ashok General Stores. 2020-20 May 1. First transaction is receive rupees 5000 from Ram on behalf of Bharat. Number 4 dated purchase goods for cash rupees 55000. 8. Paid for salary rupees 8000. 12. Purchase goods from Ganesh, Rs. 30,000 on credit. 17. Sold goods to Mrs. Sneha, Rs. 60,000 on credit. 20. Purchase machinery of Rs. 80,000 at the rate of 12% GST, an amount paid by check. 25. Paid to SGN Sons by check, Rs. 30,000. 28. Received commission rupees 10,000 from Ganesh. 30. Paid rent rupees 5,000. And the last, dated 31st, purchased shares of Atul Company Limited for rupees 10,000 through DMIT account. Today, we are going to journalize these transactions in the books of Ashok Journal Store. Let's start with the transaction number one. Receive rupees 5000 from Ram on behalf of Bharat. Of course, you all know very well first the title should be there in the books of Ashok Journal Store, Journal Entries. Then you know about the format also about it that already has been teached to you. We will see the transaction. Receive rupees 5000 from Ram on behalf of Bharat. So, you have received over here. Okay. So over here, what comes in? Cash comes in. From Ram on behalf of Bharat. So who is the giver over here? Bharat is the giver over here. So the transaction you will write over here. Cash account debit to Bharat. 5,000. 5,000 being cash received from Ram on behalf of Bharat. That was number one. Next is date four. Purchase goods for cash rupees 55,000. So you all know very well as we have said and discussed earlier too that purchase is an expense. Cash goes out. So whenever purchase is there, purchase account is always been debited and cash goes out. So, we will write over here, May 4, purchase account debit 55,000 to cash account 55,000 being goods purchased for cash. All you should know that narration is very, very important and narration gives you the explanation of the above journal entry. Narration should be written always below the journal entry and the transactions are already been given. You can take the brief from that and you can write. Next is about the date 8, paid for salary rupees 8,000. Paid salary. Salary is an expense. What goes out? Cash goes out over here. So, salary is an expense. When you pay salary to someone at that time, cash goes out over here. When you get a salary, of course, cash comes in. But when you pay a salary, cash goes out. And for that, you can write the journal entry, salary account debit to cash account, 8,000, 8,000. Salary account is debited because salary is an expense. And cash goes out. So narration is given being salary paid. Next is date 12, purchase goods. From Ganesh, rupees 30,000 on credit. Purchase goods from Ganesh on credit. As usual, now only we have discussed when you purchase, purchase is an expense. 
and as the goods is purchased from ganesh on a credit okay who is the giver over here ganesh is the giver remember over here whenever the goods are purchased on credit at that time the name of that person that means the the person who is the giver who is the giver over here ganesh is the giver over here so whenever the goods are purchased for cash at that time the entry will be what purchase account debit to cash but when it is returned in this way purchase goods from ganesh rupees 30000 on credit at that time always remember when the goods are purchased on credit at that time you have to write the name of that person over here that will be the ganesh so purchase is an expense ganesh is the giver you will write the entry may 12 purchase account debit to ganesh 30000 Thirty thousand being goods purchased on credit from Ganesh. Got it? Next is date seventeen. Sold goods to Mrs. Neha rupees sixty thousand on credit. Now that in the last transaction, purchase goods was there from Ganesh on credit. Only the twist is there that you you have sold the goods. to neha on credit whenever you sell what comes in cash comes in and sale is income as i said you all your to that sale account is always been credited purchase account is debited because it is an expense sale ac sales account is credited because it's an income so whenever you sold goods to neha rupees 60000 on credit neha is the receiver see sold goods to neha who is the receiver neha is the receiver as the goods is sold on a credit the name of that receiver should come over here if it is given sold goods for cash 60000 what should be the entry over here the entry should come cash comes in sale is an income cash account debit to sales account but as the goods are sold to neha on a credit at that time you will write over here neha is the receiver sale is an income who is the receiver over here neha and what uh, what is an income sale is an income so the entry should come over here neha's account debit to sales account 60000 on debit 60000 on credit being good sold to neha on credit got it next one after this is date 20 purchased machinery of rupees 80000 at the rate 12% gst and amount paid by check so first of all the common entry for this is what we will see whenever you purchased what you purchased you purchased a machinery machinery account debit that is very common and cash goes out but amount is paid by check so when the word check comes over here bank account is always been credited instead of cash you will write the uh, name bank over here so machinery is purchase of rupees 80000 and gst is allowed over here how much 12% so when you removed 80000 12% at that time you get the answer over here that is 9600 how to remove you all know very well 80000 into 12 upon 100 when you remove you get the answer 9600 further what to do i'll tell you this 9600 you have to divide into two part as gst will be divided as gst is there you have purchased input gst will be there yes or no input this gst will be divided into two part input cgst input sgst always remember whenever gst is debited that means it is purchased input will be there 
वेन एवर इट इज सेल देन आउटपुट जी एस टी विच इज ऑलवेज बिन क्रेडिटेड दिस इज वॉट एज यू आर परचेज अ मशीनरी ओवर यर एट ट्वेल्व परसेंट जी एस टी एंड यू आर पेड द अमाउंट बाय चेक सो एट दैट टाइम रिमेंबर ऑलवेज इनपुट जी एस टी विल बी देर एंड दिस इनपुट जी एस टी वी विल डिवाइड इन टू टू पार्ट द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज इनपुट सी जी एस टी इनपुट एस जी एस टी now total amount of gst which you already have removed that is 80000 percent that is 80000 into 12 upon 100 you get the answer 9600 now what to do for the this 9600 you have to divide into two parts the first 9600 how to divide you all know half when you do 9600 half is 4800 4800 first 400 you will write for input cgst the next 4800 will be input sgst got it everyone so the entry for this uh, transaction may 20 will be machinery account debit 80000 input cgst account debit 4800 input sgst account debit 4800 How this came four eight hundred four eight hundred because total whatever GST we have removed on eighty thousand twelve percent is nine six hundred. This nine six hundred we have divided into two part four eight hundred four eight hundred which is input CGST input SGST. So machinery account debit eighty thousand input CGST account debit four eight hundred input SGST account debit four eight hundred. to bank account total add 89600 80000 9600 which is 89600 got it everyone how to remove gst and write the journal entry if you purchase it is always input if you sell it is always output always remember gst whenever you remove remove the full amount that then divided into two part cgst and sgst narration you will write for this is being machinery purchase and paid amount by check including 12% gst got it everyone yes or no okay afterward the next is about date 25 paid for sg and sons by check rupees 30000 paid to sg and sons okay always remember read the question always once or twice when you want to understand the depth of the question always read the transaction once twice twice always remember paid to sgn sons by check paid to sgn son who is the receiver over here sgn sons what goes out cash goes out but as the amount is paid by check bank is the giver over here so you will write the entry sg and sons account debit 30000 to bank account 30000 sg and sons is the receiver bank is the giver always remember when the word check is given over here bank is the giver always bank account will be credited as the check word comes over here being amount paid to sgn sons by check got it everyone afterward the next is given received commission rupees 10000 from ganesh received commission 10000 from ganesh whenever you receive what comes in cash comes in and received commission is an income okay i already the name ganesh is given but you have to, not to write the name ganesh over here because cash comes in and commission received is an income so always cash comes in cash account is debited you know the golden rules of accountancy for real account real account say debit what comes in credit what goes out so as cash comes in cash account is debited to commission account 10000 on debit 10000 on credit being commission received from ganesh always remember whenever you receive 
cash comes in whenever you pay cash goes out if the question is given paid commission so what will be the entry now the entry is what for receive commission cash account debit to commission but when you pay commission paid commission rupees 10000 at that time the entry will be what tell me commission uh, give, when you pay commission it is an expense and what goes out cash goes out reverse entry would have been there but now as you have received the commission over here of rupees 10000 cash comes in and commission received as an income will always be credited being commission received from ganesh afterward the next entry is about day 30 paid rent rupees 5000 okay paid rent when you pay at that time, rent is an expense. And when you pay, what goes out? Cash goes out. So, rent is an expense. Cash goes out. You will write the entry. Rent account debit to cash account. 5,000 on debit. 5,000 on credit being rent paid. Okay. So, when you pay rent, cash goes out. And when you get rent, cash comes in. Always remember, remember this two point. What is coming in? Either cash is coming in or cash is going out. This point always we have to see the question and understand it. Afterward, the last entry is over here. Is purchased shares of Atul Company Limited for rupees 10,000 through DMAT account. Okay. Again, I'll read the question for you. Purchase shares. So, when you purchase share, of course, it's an investment. An investment is always done over here in the shares part. Okay. So, when you purchase the shares at that time, which account will be debited? Investment account will be debited. You can write entry like this, investment in shares account. You can write investment account. You can write shares account. Everything goes. So, investment in shares account debit as it is you have opened a DMAT account which is open through a bank. Who is the uh, giver over here? Bank is the giver over here. So, you will write the entry investment in shares account debit to bank account. 10,000 on debit, 10,000 on credit being shares of Atul Company Limited purchased but it everyone yes or no in this way we have journalized the transactions okay uh, enough for today thank you very much